Okay, let's see what it looks like. I mean, I I adore that. Like, I really, really like that. Just a disclaimer, Dawn is still being improved, etc, etc, so be careful. Hey guys, what is going on? It's Hamish from Income Stream Surfers. I'm going to teach you how to add this effect to your Shopify store. This is a background image that has been repeated. And yeah, I'll, let's just get straight into it. So the first thing you want to do is you want to choose a background image. So cheese cartoon. My my fake shop is a um, is a cheese shop. So we'll go with cheese. Let's say we pick this one. I've already picked this one. So we put it into uh, photo P and then you want to press W and you want to select this and you want to delete it. Select any remaining kind of um, out layers. Delete, delete, delete. This has got a watermark on it, but this is just an example, guys. And then we have our cheese. And then what we want to do is you want to right click and free transform and you want to make it smaller like this okay so this is our cheese okay copy it and then press new and this will save the copied um, uh, resolution and then just paste it and now we have a perfect image you can make it uh, less opaque if you don't want it to be too dominating on the page okay so once that's done we want to export it as a PNG so it, it's um, transparent Hamish from the future here, guys. Just make sure that you can see the text. So make sure because once you do this, you probably won't be able to see all of the text. So make sure that you select a specific color that contrasts your pattern on all of your pages, on all of your headings, text, etc. Okay. Once you've got your image, you need to upload it to the back end of your Shopify store. So go to Files, uh, Upload File, and then just upload the file. Obviously, this takes a couple of minutes. Okay, so now you want to copy the link and and then you want to open a notepad. So copy this link and put it into a notepad, a fresh notepad. And then you can get the code from the description. I can't delete it because I haven't got it saved. Hang on. Okay, so in the description there will be this code. So you can get a notepad like this. You can copy your URL and then the code and then copy this and then replace this with your um, your picture, your URL, and then copy all of it, and then you want to go on online store. So the good thing about Dawn and uh, I think all uh, like debut and then updated versions of the new themes, they don't have the theme.scss file. Instead, they have this base.css file which you can find in assets. It's the first one in assets. So open this up. Uh, I like to put this in uh, on line 269. As you can see, it's already in uh, It's already in there, but yours will not have this. Yours will look like uh, this. So we go to line 269. You can just copy and paste the, um, the URL, the code, into it. And then let's have a quick look what that looks like. Okay, so as you can see, I personally, I really, really like this. It's, um, I would change it slightly though, which is what I'm going to show you now. So I would have it so it wasn't just um, square, uh, square, that there was something different about it. So you can go on Google, type in wow pattern maker. Go on all, not images, obviously. Free seamless pattern online maker tool, good. Uh, upload image, let's upload our new project, let's submit it image is too small so we'll get the original file um, actually let's not get the original file it didn't work so well last time so instead what we're going to do is this is our cheese from before this one here so let's just make this a bit bigger uh, free transform okay that's lost some of its quality I think but because this is just, no, in fact, I want to have a good example. So let's open the original, um, is it this one? Yeah. Okay, let's make this the right size, free transform. Let's put it to, I think that will work. So again, copy it. Okay, good. Oh, is that transparent? 
That doesn't look transparent, wait. No, it's not. Make sure it's transparent, guys. Okay, there we go. Uh, so again, export as PNG. Save. Save. Let's put this onto the pattern maker now. So let's just drag and drop it, see if that works. Okay. Yeah, the problem is it doesn't really look like cheese, right? Wow, this is really cool, though. Okay, you can just look through these and find what you like. I kind of like that one. Vertical mirror, no. Okay, let me just see why, because yesterday when I did this, it didn't, it took the actual image, which looked a lot better. But for some reason, it's not working now. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not working. Maybe it's, yeah, it's not big enough, I think. Oh, God, that looks weird. Oh, okay, something like that, I really, really like. Um, I just don't like the square. That's the only problem. That looks pretty cool. Let's just, let's say that you like this as well. <laughs> I'm a little bit weird. I'm not the best with visuals. Now that could be cool. Okay, let's just go with that and see what it looks like. Uh, so we want to bring it onto Photopia one more time. Onto a new thing, not onto this one. Okay. No, I want it to be that size. No, whatever. It's not gonna, not gonna give me what I want, is it? It's just gonna lose its quality if I do it like that. Why is this not working? Copy that. Normally, when I press new now, it will be the exact same size. And I don't actually know how to find the size of something. One five two one four nine. One five two one four nine. Okay, now it does great. Okay. Just because it's an example and I want to get this video done, that'll do. PNG it, save, and then the process is the same as before, and I'll show you what it looks like at the end. Oh, I forgot to mention the reason I brought it onto Photopia was to just bring down the opacity so that it's not as uh, glaring. I don't think it looks very good if it's too... I'll show you both, actually. Well, you, you guys can tell me what you prefer. Okay, so this is what the first pattern looks like. That. I don't like the thing in the middle. If the thing in the middle didn't exist, it would look really, really good. So can we find one? Can we make it without the thing in the middle? I don't know what's causing the thing in the middle. That's the only thing. You should be able to make this not square as well. That would be good. Thing in the middle. Thing in the middle. Are they all going to have it? Maybe it's the ratio. Okay, I'm not really sure what that, uh, where that bit in the middle is coming from. Oh, wait, if I make it smaller, maybe? And put it all on the cheese? Ah, there we go. Okay, I really like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really like that. That is perfect for me. I'm going to download that and put it on. I'll show you what it looks like, and then that will be the end of the video. Okay, let's see what it looks like. I mean, I, I adore that. Like, I really, really like that. That's my own personal opinion. I think this is really good for brands because you can kind of uh, get your brand in here but it doesn't have to be so like obvious like a big picture of your logo or whatever you can just get the colors and kind of the lines from your logo and make a pattern from it and i think that's really really strong for brands and it's really unique as well like you 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 will never see another website with this exact pattern which i personally i'm a really big fan of you could probably add a gradient as well but yeah i'm just getting started and if you're enjoying this content please consider subscribing and supporting me, etc, etc. And I'll see you tomorrow or maybe even later today with another tutorial. Peace out.